Hi, I'm Trisha Gray from singlikeastar.com and this is Techniques for Singing Pop or Rock Music. To sing rock, pop, R&B, and gospel, you need two things, a strong chest voice connected to a strong mix voice. And often you'll be using much less vibrato than you do in other vocal styles. If you come from a choral or classical background, you might have been told things such as singing in the chest voice will damage your voice or you shouldn't sound individual, you should blend in by singing airy, breathy, and weak so you don't stick out in the choir. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Nature has equipped us with both a lower and an upper register, and our job as singers is to develop the entire range to be as strong as possible and to learn to sing well from the bottom of the voice to the top of the voice with a connected and even sound. Developing your voice for rock, pop, country, or R&B singing is a three-step process. The first step, establish and develop the lower register or chest voice. Second, establish and develop the upper register or head voice. Three, establish a connection between the upper and the lower register, which enables you to sing from the bottom to the top of the voice without cracking or breaking. This three-step process is what is missing from most vocal techniques. They're either going to tell you to yell in chest as high and loud as possible by hyperextending your vocal cords and thereby shortening your vocal life and career, or they tell you to sing only in your head voice, which is not a commercially viable sound. So to establish our chest voice, what we're trying to do is get our vocal cords to come together or adduct. And the best way to do that is just to say, ah, 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 ah. ah. Ah, ah, ah. Take that to a five-tone scale like And then say Day by day by day Day by day by day Day by day by day And so on Unfortunately, due to time constraints, I can only demonstrate in a couple of keys each time. Don't take those, uh, these chest voice exercises up beyond an A-flat for a female or an E-flat for a male, because that's where you need to start transitioning into your mixed voice through the bridge. Now, step two is establish and develop your head voice. All right, so we're going to go all the way up to the head voice with and bring it down like this. So you're starting in your head, then you're connecting to your chest on the bottom. All right, once you've gotten that done, step two, establishing a head voice. Step one, establishing the chest voice. We're ready to connect the registers. Step three. And you'll say something like this. Nay, 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 nay. And so on. Notice I was able to go from the bottom of my voice to the top of my voice with no perceivable change in tone quality. Once you've completed the three steps and your voice is working well, you're then able to introduce styling, licks, runs, vibrato. All of these things make one musical style different from another musical style. And the best way to do this is by a process known as imitation. Once your voice is strong and balanced and free from strain, then start imitating artists you admire. Don't try to do the whole song at once. Take a phrase at a time and perfect that phrase by doing it over and over, starting very slowly and increasing the speed gradually. Most licks and runs for rock music come from the blues or the pentatonic scale. I'm going to teach you the pentatonic scale here. As your ear becomes more tuned to the pentatonic scale, you'll be able to start to hear how many of the licks and runs used by rock artists are simply rearrangements of this scale. The pentatonic scale sounds like this. Nay, 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 nay. I'm Trisha Gray from singlikeastar.com. And this has been Techniques for Singing Pop or Rock Music.